Hey guys, this video is a DIY laundry room makeover and the laundry room is mine, so stay tuned. Before I show you everything about the laundry room, let's chat about the design and how I came up with some of the things that I came up with and why. First of all, the laundry room's really long and at the end of the laundry room is a bathroom. And we're reconfiguring that too, that'll be more in part two. But why we're reconfiguring it is because I love the window and I love natural light. So the second thing was the door that's on this laundry room, I'm going to replace it. So I found an old door on Facebook Marketplace with glass. That way when the door's closed, I can see light coming in from the window and if I have a small light in here in the evening, I can see it as well. Now, I did not want built-in cabinets. I wanted something really different. So I got on Facebook Marketplace and I found this gorgeous armoire. I think I got it for $125. But what I love about it is, first of all, the depth was right and the width was right. Next, I loved the mirrors on it and then the very unique detailing on the top made it really, really beautiful. It also made it a very big pain to paint. But that is the first thing I started with. First thing I needed to decide was what color to paint this and I went through several different colors. How I landed on it was I matched it to the wallpaper, which I'll show you that wallpaper more in detail in a minute. But I chose very close to the same blue and this is chalk paint. I did not want to have to sand this armoire and then just covered with poly uh, acrylic. Now, the handles on it, I did a little bit of a gold wax on them. But here's the neat thing. So this side opens up over here and it houses cleaning supplies and my vacuum. But one really cool thing that Scott did, he did these strip lights in here so it lights up when I open it. This side opens up to the right. Scott built shelves inside, lights again. And this just gives me a lot of storage. It turned out wonderful. Next, I knew I wanted a lot of wood in here and board and batten, according to Scott, is pretty easy to do and pretty inexpensive. And I knew I wanted to bring it up high on the wall. I chose some beautiful toile wallpaper. It has bunnies in it, which you know are my favorite. The color is just a beautiful soft blue. I got it off of Target and it was peel and stick and it wasn't very hard to put up at all. So for the light in here, I couldn't have anything that hung too low because Scott's 6'3". Um, but I found one at Lowe's that I love. So Scott hung it for me and I just think it made this room look so charming. So for the design around the washer and dryer, Scott built this. This is butcher block and he just brought it straight across and did a waterfall effect on the side. And then I stained it and did tongue oil, T-U-N-G oil. If you don't know what that is, it's one of my favorite things to use for wood. It's an oil that you can rub into it and it dries. And I use it in my living room as well because you don't have to have coasters. It's water resistant. So the next thing I wanted to, I needed housing for laundry detergent and all of those things. So we just did two shelves here. And I didn't want, I see a lot of shelves, which I love those, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I had Scott frame this out and we did shiplap, we, <laughs> he, did shiplap all the way up. And then we brought the board and batten around to the side. So this really just kind of framed this work area. Now, I love light, so I found a really cool picture light. I think it was $12.99 on Amazon. It was really, really gold. So of course I broke out the paint and I broke out the rub and buff in Grecian gold and rubbed it on there so that it would look like old brass. Now what's really neat about this is it comes with a remote and it has a timer on it and Scott didn't have to do any extra electrical work. So it worked out perfectly. I needed two knobs for these cabinets, but I didn't want to choose a knob that had pattern or was a certain metal. I really wanted a soft monochromatic look. Found these knobs at Hobby Lobby, half off, for I think they were $1.50, but I love how they add a little bit of vintage to the entire look. 
For the artwork, I wanted something very soft and subtle. I found this at Target. It has a hint of the blue with the wallpaper. The wallpaper's busy, so you don't wanna get something that's too busy, and this artwork was perfect. Some of the other accessories, also from Target, and I'll put a link in the description, but this basket houses my towels. This cute little jar is filled with special yummies for Emma and Molly. And then this taller basket, I've just put in my dryer sheet, so it's cute and functions. I already had the greenery and the sweet, of course, the sweet little bunny. So for the rug, again, didn't want any color or pattern, but the jute gives enough texture, and to me, it's the right length. Again, I found this one at Target as well. So I'm going to figure out what to do with this tile floor. The tiles are in perfect condition, and I like the size. Now I did a treatment in our guest bathroom. The tiles were smaller, but they were the same color. Turned out beautiful. I'll put a link to this video that shows how I did that. And before you ask, it has lasted amazingly well. No chips, nothing, cleans well, and it's been two years. So part two will be what I'm going to do with this bathroom floor. The light cover I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well, and I painted it the same color that I painted all of the board and batten. That color is a Sherwin-Williams color called Greek Villa, and I also painted in the sheen satin. All right, part two of this video is going to be what am I gonna do with my tile floor? And I wanna figure something out so that I don't have to rip it up, which will make Scott so happy. So I've got some thinking to do on that, but we will have a part two. I also wanna mention how much I appreciate, we have weekly YouTube friends that visit JD's and it means the world to me. Thank you so much. Well, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have more videos coming out later. Don't forget to hit that bell. It will notify you when I have a new video out. Stay safe and stay well.